Welcome back, fans and friends, for this upcoming video. I have another green light, so I know that's four green lights in a row. But they happen to have a few decent ones on the shelf that I wanted, including the Nissan Skyline and from the last video, the Ford Ranchero. So for this one is actually, I kind of already do have it. So, but there's been a bunch of other ones which I thought might have been more worthy than this one, but I ended up getting it anyway. It's not that, but it's very close to that. It is a convertible, but it's a hood-up convertible. So this is the History Channel from Green ha Greenlight Hollywood series, American Picker. So this is obviously series 37. I think in series 36, there is also the Rain Man version of these cars. And then you also have very recently the Hitch and Toe, which I do see on the shelves occasionally. So there is a bunch of opportunities to get this type of a vehicle, 1949 Buick Master. They are actually, in fact, so far from what I've seen, all of them are 1949. So you will not be getting, like I've done the Escorts, where they range from 1992 to 1995, uh, of various ages. These are all simply 19, 1949. So a uh, major difference would be, obviously, the paint. Everything else appears to end the, obviously, roof there. Interior is very different as well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure the hood does not open, so we will still not be getting a look at the straight eight. And then just quickly going over the package, limited edition, diecast metal, French and English, contains one diecast vehicle, and obviously the Fortune Plus 164, Series 37. On to the back, we have all that stuff we had on the front, plus the 21.5 and then 22 last year. So more than halfway through the year, the 14562WB. And then here is all the information. Instead of telling us about the car or showing the cars in the series, they're telling us about the TV show itself. I will leave it on for about 20 more seconds so those who want to pause can read it. And then I'm going to tear this thing apart. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh, you know what, I have no idea that if the uh, other two Roadmasters, the Rain Man is obviously a convertible, but the Hitch and Toe, I'm not sure if it's a convertible or a hardtop. So here it is in its nicely supplied green light insert. As we can see, there's a lot more chrome accents. The one thing I really did like about the green light, uh, sorry, black bandit, was the silver contrast with the black so if you happen to like the turquoise coloring uh, for sure then this is better than, than the black bandit but I still like the black bandit better because things like the side exhausts the writing and everything else Dynaflow for instance you will probably will not will be hard pressed to read it on this one it's nice and easy to read there but other than that the car and the license plate is not done so there's that. Like I said, everything is just easier to contrast. If they ever get a hard top of this, I might even grab that too. So we'll just go quickly over this. There is the top view, nice and plain. Smallest window in the world in the back there. The plastic cover to the metal vehicle. Uh, we have this we've covered before. The front, this thing, the Buick symbol, the shield with the line through it is in fact done better than this one. As we can see there, they've used a little bit too much black in the middle and it is not as clear as it is there. Uh, so one thing I didn't notice, but I notice it now, is in fact it says Roadmaster right across the front of the grill there on the top, just underneath the symbol. It does not say that on this one. So if that's a minor detail that we're press you to buy this then by all means there's at least minor differences i brought this up with the ford thunderbird while they will not do the exact same thing on the exact same cars one day hopefully we'll get an opening hood with this vehicle but for now it does not open moving on to the right side we see the same things we saw over there roadmaster hard to read dynaflow chrome accents the exhaust for the eight red interior uh just quickly uh I didn't bring it up, but it is because it is the world's tiniest window in the back there. It is difficult to see through, but as we can see on an angle, we can see clearly through the windows. On to the back. 
in also extremely timely to letters. I do believe it says Roadmaster. I apologize, it actually says Dynaflow. And on the front there it just says Yeah, here it says Buick, but I don't know the four or five letter word. I thought usually they say eight. Anyway, I guess we'll never know. So we'll move to the back of the vehicle where it says Dynaflow on either side. So basically the same thing it says there, but in stylized letter with a chrome accent mounted on there. Nothing on the license plate. And there's the exhaust. Pretty much the exact same thing we got. And there we see the underside. Pretty much identical to the Black Bandit. The difference is the 1026 is for some reason done with a sticker here. And then they have probably printed it on. We can see there. So again, it's a five digit number, which means that there's more than 9,000 of them. There technically can be 99,000 of them. Uh, so I don't know what kind of a limited edition that is. Maybe the zero is added unnecessary, but we can clearly say there is 02184 or 64. And then just below it, we see that this is a 2021 release, exactly the same as is this one. But for some reason, this one is much clearer. And then uh, other than that, what we're looking for is this. The 21522, which is exactly the same as what's on the back of the package. Yes, it is. So it is the exact same vehicle for the exact same package. And we see the extremely long differential there and transfer case for the straight eight, very long engine, eventually replaced by the V8 series of engines. And the GL number is actually, in fact, extremely hard. It says 21, but I don't see what the third number is. So thankfully, we can see here it is 215. So this is probably the same casting. It's just diff done at a different plant or later on. But you can see there the 5 is almost completely illegible, the one in front of it. And then here it just says 1949 Buick Roadmaster. We sort of know it's a convertible, so there's nothing else to cover. Uh, I did not see very many issues with the wheels, uh, even nicely printed in the middle is Buick. And then there we can see a little bit of an extra for the white wall tires, but for the most part, we're going to see the roll test very soon. Uh, it want, This one here is sticking, so that's not good. You can see why. It is not even, and it's going to be extremely difficult to fix because of how the wheels are done. They're probably pushed in on an angle, and it's going to be ne next to impossible to straighten them out, which is a serious letdown. However, I'll give it a shot to roll. Yeah, you see right away, it doesn't want to roll, compared to this one, right? Convertible, there's a very clear difference, and that Buick over there is going to be, because of the we well wheels, covers, will be extremely hard to fix. So the front wheels... Are okay the back wheels the difficult ones it doesn't want to move so there we have it it's been sort of a letdown towards the end because of the wheels not rolling but it does offer slight differences between this and the black bandit i have no idea between this and the uh, hitch and toe or the uh, rain man version so would i recommend it honestly i like the black bandit one better but it does offer some unique features but unfortunately, it's going to be next to impossible to fix these wheel issues. So, fans and friends, this is Thomas from Toronto presenting to you the Series 37 Hollywood Greenlight Series Buick Roadmaster from American Pickers. And thanks for watching.